And there we have uh, Soyuz Commander Roman Romanenko of the Russian Space Agency already been extracted from the craft. Pull him. Okay. Okay, turn him over. There we go. Second crew member out of the Soyuz craft, NASA astronaut Tom Marshburn. Uh, Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield. I stay with this. Okay, I'm getting out. So uh, you'll hear them comment on the weather quite a bit as the uh, weather in Kazakhstan can be uh, quite unpleasant uh, during certain times of the year. Meanwhile, Canadian Space Agency astronaut Chris Hadfield uh, being lowered into his seat now after being extracted. Yeah, yeah. It's not quite the SLF, though. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. They're doing pretty well. All right, and uh, it's our understanding that next the crew will be moving on to the medical tent and then uh, back on to Karaganda. Uh, looking forward to that welcoming ceremony. Yeah, so we're going to head out toward Karaganda here uh, shortly. There was 12 helicopters actually assigned uh, to this land. So launch and entry suits. You can see them being carried in their seats uh, to the medical tent. It's currently set up about 100 yards away from the landing site. now inside going to change out of those Sokol launch and entry suits and undergo that Im initial I didn't quite get it the descent module successfully delivering these departing expedition